Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We're talking about switches. We're talking about proximity switches now. Here I have one proximity switch. Yeah? Look at that, how this is looking. This is a proximity switch. Yeah? It has some glass tube co corpus, yeah? some glass body, and there are two tongues inside which help uh, let's see if we can get it a bit, little bit better still. Uh, and those two tanks, they are switching. Eh? You see this? Uh, not very good. Uh, maybe here. Yeah. There are two long tongue-like spring. Yeah? And if they're not, right now they're not touching each other. Yeah, so there is no no connection between uh, those two connectors, yeah? and if I can manage that those two things touch each other, then I could uh, make a connection. How is this working? This is working with the hill with the help of a magnet. He already builds one in. I have used here eight volts as a, as a source. Yeah? And this is a LED, this is a corresponding uh, resistor. So whenever this is switching, we should see the LED to lit. All right. So here, this is a magnet from, from the fridge, fridge magnet. So if I put this close, you see, ooh, yeah, you see? If I put this thing close, then this is switching, yeah? Because then those two tanks are magnetized and attracted to each other and they will stick because they are of some material which behaves like that. Yeah? The more I'm away, yeah? here we are not switching, now I come closer, also not, still, ah, now, now we are here. Ah, you see, also here we do not, and if we go further, we switch on again. So in the middle, it seems like we have a spot where we are not really detecting this magnet. Huh? Here, also here, there's a, the spot is getting tinier. So there are, there are areas for these type of sensors, right? There are areas for these type of sensors where they realize there is a magnet. Huh? But actually, if we are close, it's working pretty well, yeah? if we are inside this area. And you also see, here, it turned off, turned on, turned off, turned on. Maybe I can show you a little bit further away. On, off, on, off, on. Off. There's some hysteresis as well. On, off. Go in this direction. On, back, off. There is some hysteresis in turning off and on. So there is a switch, a level, which is switching this thing on, and there's a level where we're switching off again. So this is how a read switch basically works. Why is it in glass? Because this is that you can use such read switch also in some explosive atmosphere. All right. So you, there is if there is a spark, it will stay inside the glass tube. This glass tube makes them th this thing also a little bit sensitive, yeah, because it's easily to break. Sensitive. Look at this. You see this? This is not magnetic. Huh? This is just when I hit this. Yeah? So it's vibration. The vibration 
sensitive. It's vibrations, it's, it's clear, yeah, because they are just two tongues and if they vibrate a little bit, yeah, then it's sensitive to vibration. So maybe it's not a good idea to use this as it is in, in moving vehicles or vibrating machines or something like this. You might have an issue. You maybe have to wait until it's really switched on huh? firmly. All right. So let's summarize this on a sheet of paper. So reed switches, how they are built. Yeah, I've just shown you. So there's some glass tube. Yeah. There is some, there are two connectors. And they are very thin. contacts which are usually apart from each other yeah? and when here is the glass yeah so we have a glass body we have here contacts make them look like copper no. so these are contact and it's reacting to to magnets if we have somewhere a magnet close So we have some North Pole, uh, we have some South Pole, green color still missing, yeah. then those two will switch. Yeah. So magnet will cause the contact to touch. Each other. Okay. This is how this is working. Simply because they are magnetized and then pack, they are touching each other. And there is a limit where we have seen there are some 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 areas yeah, where we switch on, they usually look like that somehow. Yeah. This is switch on. Yeah. And somewhere there are areas where we switch off. Yeah. So there are some hysteresis in between. Yeah. This is switch off. And they're not only these, but there are also some side side areas where we also sensitive switching off, switching on, yeah. Switching off, switching on. So there might be several areas in between. We have seen this, right? Depends also a little bit on the orientation of the magnet, if it's that way or that way, or uh, depends how the switching characteristic is. Yeah. So there is some sort of switching characteristic. There's some sort of hysteresis and so on. And we have to take care uh, how far we can be apart with the magnet that it is detected. All right. The, the, the stronger the magnet, the magnetic field of this, the more influence it has, the more distance I can have. However, since I have this, these shaped areas yeah, of, 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 of sensitivity, I have them. Yeah? So, and the glass body
Class body prevents sparks to ignite ignite a dangerous explosive atmosphere all right so since this is sealed yeah however it can break easily yeah and uh, negative about this is yeah this is the behavior you can use it yeah negative about this is sensitive to vibration because a vibration will cause those tongues here, these, these contact tongues, to vibrate and then they will touch each other. Yeah. This is a reed switch. A reed switch can be used to detect a magnet. Right. Metal had no effect on it. Yeah. What if we want to detect something which is not a magnet? Yeah. Are there also solutions? Yes, there are. Next time we're going to talk about inductive proximity switches. Okay. So next time, inductive proximity switches for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.